this is Barbara template and today I'm going to show you how to use the designs uh, that once you've already made and you don't need to copy the difficult way but how to do it faster and easier way. So I'm sharing my screen right now. Uh, so let's say, uh, what do I mean by this? Uh, let's say you're doing some type of content material, it doesn't matter whether it's post, it's some kind of ebook, uh, info material, worksheet, uh, and uh, there are certain uh, things, pages that you can use from previous one. Uh, of course, what you can do, uh, you can open the original one and you can go plus and uh, and use it yeah but that could get really messy with your original one or you can you know copy each of the elements on the original one and insert it on the new project which you're doing or the new uh, page uh, also takes ages or you can create it from the scratch uh, which is the longest version but the easiest thing how to do is uh, when you go let's say I'll open a new uh, it wants uh, let's say it's Instagram post yeah and so I open a new Instagram post uh, and I want to use uh, the design which I have to, uh, already used because let's say the first and last page are always the same. So what I go, uh, what I do, <laughs> sorry, what I do is I click on it and I go here on the left and uh, you go to all your designs. Yes, it's kind of a square made of four squares. Yeah, when you click on this, all the designs that you have ever made uh, will show up here, okay? So you just go and you choose which design or in which file uh, the page or design that you want to use is. So let's say it's over here, I click on it and now it opens these files. Yeah, there's 31 pages and I want to use uh, this page. Yeah, and then at the end, let's imagine we have more pages over here of some new content which I've created. And the last page, uh, uh, I want it to be, let's say, this one. Okay. So you just click on it and it shows here. Uh, now the, uh, the advantage is you can still adjust it. Uh, there's also a way how you can do it. It's that when you design, uh, when you create some design, you download the image and then you upload it in the Canva. You've got it here in the uploads, yeah? But if I, uh, let's go plus, okay, uh, just delete this, yeah, so you can see. But if I insert the image which I have uploaded, uh, I'll go for this one. As you can see, it's an uh, image. Yeah, it's uh, it's full image, and I cannot uh, change uh, change anything about it. I cannot change the name. I cannot change the size of the font. Yeah, so this is uh, it's not very practical version. But if I go like this, that I go to all your designs, and uh, you open the design you want, you click on it. There you go. So I can adjust each of the elements that I've got there. So this is how you can save a lot of time, especially if you do a similar type of material, uh, but you don't wanna have one huge file with 100 pages, uh, but uh, you want to have each one separate. Uh, for example, I use it uh, when I, uh, uh, let's say when I do something very often, uh, some kind of repeated things, uh, let's say, for example, for Etsy listings, I create myself some templates and then uh, I'll just insert the template. OK, uh, let me show you uh, where is it or I use it for ebooks, yeah, uh, I've got, or for worksheets for English. Uh, so. Uh, let's see which one I'll find first. I've got lots of designs here, so just give me a minute. Um, where is it? Which one? Some of the templates. Um, not this one. Okay, getting there. Yeah, for example, this one. Yeah, so these are my, my templates. Uh, some ideas, when I've got some idea about template, I'll just uh, insert it into this file. It's called Etsy template. And then when I create an Etsy listing, 
So I'll just think, okay, this is a good template for this type of product. So I just clicked. Uh, it's different size uh, than Instagram post. And as you can see over here, so I'll, what I do, I'll just insert the images, I'll adjust it a little bit, I'll change the text and color, and it's done. Uh, it's much faster than creating the design from the scratch or copying Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Uh, so this is how you can insert uh, some design that you have already done and save a lot of time. So um, for example, once again, let's, uh, let's say if you do some kind of worksheets and uh, even though the pages of the worksheets are different, there will be always some front page, which could be similar in the same style. Maybe you just change the color. And the last page, which is uh, with the information about uh, your website and what products and services you offer, that's always the same. Uh, maybe you just change one sentence, but you don't need to write it all over again. Yeah, you just go here, all your designs, open the design, where is it? Click on the design and it shows here and you can edit each of the elements of the design. Also another one little trick, which is quite handy if you want to be organized a little bit more. Uh, if you go to your home feed, and uh, yeah, this is I think maybe one of the disadvantages of Canva that you cannot actually organize the, the designs on your home feed in files, but what you can do, uh, if uh, this design is part of some project I'm doing and I want uh, to have it organized uh, in one file, all these projects, so I go three dots and oh, I will just move myself and I'll put it into move, move into folders. So here you can create any folder you like and you just add it to the folder that you like, okay? And then when you create new design and it's from this uh, project, it's in this type of folder. So you can also, you can go here on the left and here are folders and you just open the folder that, uh, where, where is it? Um, I don't have many things there. And you just again, open it, click and it's there, yeah? So this is one way how to organize your designs and how to, uh, save your time by uh, using the designs that you already have and which needs just minor changes, uh, you can save a lot of time. So that's all for today. I hope this was uh, helpful and I'll see you in the next video about Canva, how to use Canva and tips, uh, how to uh, work with Canva. Bye-bye.